When a Pandora box stretches to the full size of the screen, sometimes it can look great. But when classics are stretched out wide, gross. Solutions do exist like the M Classic, OSSC, or even Pandori. But recently, videos from Madpixel have caught my eye. Can this be the best monitor for a Pandora box? Let's find out. Welcome to Team Pandori. Subscribe. This here is a Dell 2007 FPB. It's a 20 inch 4x3 IPS monitor. It's $40 used, and for an extra 20, we got the Dell AX510, which is a speaker unit that attaches to the monitor. If you look closely, there are actually two speakers in here, so it's stereo. Let's take a look around the back. We have two USB sockets on the side, and with the stand, we can raise and lower it as we wish. Push this button, and then push the monitor down, and we can adjust. Adjusting the angle, however, is a bit more awkward. It's loose and unwilling to stay still. Like my ex-girlfriend. Maybe we can just stick something in the gap. That'll do the job. $10 also works. We can easily remove the stand by pushing the button and just pulling out. Let's take a look at the bottom. Here's for power, DVI-D, VGA, Composite, and S-Video. This would be great for vintage systems that support it. Here we have the upstream USB port. You run a cable from here to your device and you'll be able to use the monitor as a hub for your remaining USB ports. And finally, we have power for our speakers. You pop this cable in here. And the other end, we're going to a PC, iPhone, or Pandora box. We can see it supports stereo with these two lines. So let's pop this on. Just align the holes with the tabs and then slide. Now for the stand. And then the Pandora box. On the right, there's a volume dial. And these speakers are just merely okay. They're not very loud and have little bass. But attached to this monitor, they are out of the way and don't need a power adapter. But yeah, this looks great. Outside the bilinear blur that is on most of these boxes, having the screen filled out in 4.3 just works so well on these classic games. Here's Tekken, the PlayStation 1. We're actually testing a few Pandora boxes with this display. This one's the Pandora Box DX Saga, pretty much a one-to-one -one clone of the DX, and is running on the stock settings. Moving on to the Pandora Box X, there's a lot more power, and there's a slight blur. Other than that, with this monitor, it looks great. Here's Tekken 3 for the PlayStation. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on the Dreamcast. This looks and plays brilliantly. But if we move on to PSP, the aspect ratio is all wrong. As we don't have access to the options screen, we can't change this. Moving on now, here's the Pandora Games 3D+. Plus. This is the one with the 905 chipset that currently has no Pandora available for it. Remember this can play games from other systems too. Here's N64. We can see there's a slight border around the edge. And for PSP games, not ideal. They're stretched vertically. Even though we completely trashed this board in the review, Esports has certain games without blur and the paint filter, so the graphics are sharp and look great on this Dell. However, the PSP games look and play terribly. The same can be said for the Dreamcast. One more feature of this monitor is we can actually rotate it 90 degrees to the left. In some vertical shooters like Ikaruga on the Dreamcast, we can rotate the display. Let's see how this works out. Perfect. We have tape mode. But the intention was sound. So how about we use this Dell monitor with Pandora DX? We've turned off the blur and this is how it looks.
and even CPS2 games are looking fine and dandy. Outside the obvious choices, we can use Pandora DX to rotate the screen in any way we wish. So we can have full-on Tate mode with Dodonbachi. So as long as the Pandora box has VGA, they work fine. The only exception to this we found was the Treasure 2, which for some reason just didn't work. It also won't work if your box is reliant on HDMI. That includes the X2 and the smaller variants, like the Friends, this thing, and the very small DX, which is pretty terrible. Don't get one of these. So it's quite easy to see why this Dell monitor is one of the best displays for a Pandora box. 4.3, IPS, a nice speaker option, and it's a modern display, meaning it won't set fire if you look at it funny. It's a shame there's no HDMI port, but as it has S-Video and Composite, this monitor may be one of the best for vintage gaming. As we finish up, here's a big thank you to all of those on our Patreon. Thank you for your continued support, we really appreciate it. We make video reviews, guides, and fix their market boxes with Pandori. If you like our work, please consider jumping on. Otherwise, likes are free. This has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra!